Hey YouTube, Minister Paul uh, MP here in Northern California on 1-23-19, the 33rd day of the government shutdown. Number one thing trending on Twitter right now is Speaker Nancy Pelosi. And what I'm going to show you, you won't find covered on any of the, uh, any of the, uh, news where you are it, this is not being covered so let's just go right to it this is coming out of sebring florida from a sun trust bank initially let me tell you initially i saw this reported by an underground news on twitter that i follow as five down presumed dead a bank robber with hostages and the police having surrounded the bank. I'll show you some pictures here. So they're saying he has surrendered now. Let's check out some video if we can. Okay, I want to just show you this. Look at the, uh, here's the maximize. Look at the front of the building here. SunTrust Bank, Sebring, Florida. Now, I don't know how this all got knocked out, whether law enforcement knocked it out or whether the alleged bank robber knocked it out, but I know something's not right about this story. For one, it's not being reported at all anywhere. See, look, several down an armed robbery of Sebring Bank. So they were reporting five dead at one point. And, and I think now the reason why I'm mentioning this is uh, U.S. 27 shut down in both directions from Gulf View Drive to Lakeview Drive due to this incident. And they're telling people to go to this uh, nearby inn. Now, this is kind of where this story gets strange, okay? No one is covering this at all. Every single news channel I've went to is about Nancy Pelosi. This, this should be a major story right now. If they're reporting hostages and five down, uh, this should be all over. But it's not. You won't find it. But I'm going to cover this because I'll tell you why in a minute. So clearly you can see these pictures. This is happening, right? Because I believe this is part of the false flag. All of these things are coming out, uh, and so many people don't want to believe this. We had the blood moon. And don't forget, we have two more blood moons coming, February and March. We had the vote yesterday in uh, in New York to allow full-term abortion for any reason passed. We had several messengers come forward and warn of a woe. Just yesterday, myself, two days ago, strike that, January 21st, 2019, I gave a warning and it's a woe. We are running out of time. Major New York, Florida, and Israel events on the horizon. So this is coming to pass. I mean, uh, the news headlines read, Iran and Israel escalate their military war because of uh, Israeli bombing in uh, Syria. It looks like Trump's getting ready to give a speech. That's interesting. I wonder if it's going to be about uh, Nancy Pelosi or Venezuela. If he even mentions this at all, it's pretty sad. If this really happened, I don't know. I haven't seen any bodies come out or anything. They had helicopters taking bodies away. You hear what I said? They had helicopters taking bodies away. But Florida, now, the area that I prophesied over, because God can't speak to man. God can speak to men. Stop saying he can't. He did all through the Bible as a warning. So this particular warning was for Apollo Beach and the Cape Canaveral area. So let me show you something. I'm going to bring up a map. Please have patience. So this is the area in, in general that I was warning about. And only God knows why. I see this bomb right now. Bomb of Gilead. Look that up in the Bible. A 3-7. A 3-7, look. I just had a dream last night about 3-7. I just watch this. So I'm going to put in, I'm going to put in, uh, 
Sebring, Florida, from the area I was warning out, I want you to see, let me get that. I want you to see how close these two areas are and how specific God can be in his warnings. So we're going to get directions here. Driving, I don't know what's okay. Looks like one hour and 47 minutes or one hour and 49 minutes. Now watch this because I want to do something else I haven't done yet. So here was the area I warned of. I had a dream of 3-7 last night. I gave a woe for Florida. And then here's Sebring. So it's basically less than two hours away. In fact, it's 82.2 miles. I mean, that is God is really being specific with these warnings here. So now what I want to do is I want to... I want to uh, bring up Cape Canaveral, which was also part of the uh, warning. So we'll go from Sebring. We're going to go to Cape Canaveral. You're only going to understand this if you've uh, followed my, my warnings on here. But even if you've only followed for a couple days, you're going to see this. So... I mean, so here is the Apollo Beach area, right over here, do you understand? Here is this mass shooting, which I'm waiting to see if they spin this into a fat, flat, false flag. And here is Cape Canaveral. So you could literally draw a line and it would be another triangulation area, but this time in Florida. Now, let me, let me, uh, let me tell you the situation here. The reason why it's being underreported, the reason why you can't find it, we'll check Drudge. I just want to show you how we cannot trust the mainstream media anymore. It is not on here anywhere on Drudge. It's not on any local news. It's not trending on Twitter. Not a single word of it. And here, here's my concern. Not a single word of this anywhere. This happened. There's pictures. My concern is that this is a false flag. As I warned, a woe is coming. Let me just say this. The woe is coming upon this world quickly and suddenly. A woe. No one can deny this exact area was spoken of exactly two days ago. No one can deny that. There, if you deny this, you're a liar. Simple as that. And so my concern is for New York. So what, what, I've, what I've been told through the Holy Spirit is that the elites, the Illuminati, they are in, in talks with the mainstream media right now to, to get together to decide what narrative they're going to push. They could take this, it, it was warned about here two days ago, it happened today, it's not being covered, they can take this, uh, they can take this scenario, and they can say, this was a massive law enforcement investigation is underway, several people down, that's the latest, right? They can say that this was a, a laid off, unpaid federal worker who snapped, and make this a big, huge issue that separates us even more and more. And I actually was led to pray on this. They can say it's 10 victims now. They can, since nobody can see inside the bank, they can claim zero victims and be called fake news, or they can claim 10 victims. And, and uh, they literally have a while to think about it because it's not being covered anywhere. Yet there's pictures right here in front of you because. They I'm sure that there are people in the highest levels that want to make this a false flag that divides. And it was warned about it. So I want to say a woe, a woe, woe too is thou cubby to New York. And so how I was led to pray over this, just so I could give you some uh, idea on this, and maybe you can find some more updates on this, is uh, you can pray 
for those who are still alive but in danger. Because this is prophecy coming to pass. These are the end times. I'm trying to wake people up. I'm not your enemy. I'm not your enemy. I'm your friend sharing the truth of real events, be, uh, uh, calling them out in advance and them happening in the exact area for going on seven years now and we're running out of time. And you're not going to be able to trust the media on anything they say. That's why they've invented this fake news narrative. When something like this happens, we don't even know when to believe it or not. We do not know whether to believe it or not. Let's get the latest. Live. I love doing this stuff live. SunTrust Bank. It's just how I operate. SunTrust Bank. Sebring. I almost typed in Chrysler for some reason. Sebring, Florida. Let's get the late. Let's just pick the latest one. Right. Look. I think it's going to be the same map I'm showing you guys. Well, let's just go to the news as we used to be able to always do. We could go here and maybe get some facts. Several down quotes. So we don't know what several is. It could be two. It could be three. All we, uh, and are they, have they passed? You know, are they still alive? Or, I could tell you one thing. If they're saying that the suspect is in custody, then clearly there can't be hostages, right? So this occurred at 1230, the 911, original 911 call. Let's get some facts down. Highway 27, 1230 p.m. after a person called the agency's dispatch and reported he had fired shots inside the bank. So the shooter called 911. There's going to be a press conference at 430. Okay, so let, let's see what they come out with. Let's see if they tell us anything. This is the latest. I'll actually put a link to this. I'm going to watch this press conference. So that is going to be in 50 minutes from now. 5-0. Let's see what they come out and say. They could play this two ways. They could say, you know what? The people are waking up. They're arising. They're on to us. Let's just, let's just totally play this down. No one was really injured. Or they can make this some type of huge false flag that divides. Either way... It's a woe. In New York, a woe is coming unto you.